Hi. Welcome uh, to my first ever episode of uh, yeah my knitting podcast. Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna call it yet, but my uh, name on every knitting platform is Stitch with Brie. So oh, that's me. Uh, my full name is Umbriel. Uh and in the knitting community I go by Brie because I thought uh, Stitch with Brie <laughs> is kind of fun, uh, like uh, Stitch with me, <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm a knitter, I am also a sewer, um, and I like, to, I like to crochet too, so uh, I uh, couldn't really call myself anything else than a, a stitcher. <laughs> to put everything together. Um, yeah, I have no idea why I'm doing this today. Uh, I've been wanting to do a knitting podcast for a while now and I've, I've been knitting and looking at other people's podcasts a lot and I really enjoy it. So I thought I would just try it and uh, yeah, also kind of, to get involved with other people because I honestly I don't know any other knitters uh, besides myself and I just like to talk about my knitting and and my friends <laughs> I like to start talking to them enthusiastically about my knitting and then they're like uh okay <laughs> yeah, they like it but um not as much as me and I would like to have some fellow knitters maybe also sewers um so yeah that's kind of why i want to do this i have never filmed myself so this feels really weird i'm just talking to my phone right now um i also don't know if my storage is gonna like hold up <laughs> or anything i don't know um so we'll see how this goes so um Today, I've actually been sewing a lot uh, because besides knitting, I like to sew, like I said. Uh, and I actually sewed this turtleneck. Um, I made it from uh, some of my boyfriend's old t-shirts. He wanted to get rid of them and he had two of the same ones. Um, and then I thought, well, I can make a nice turtleneck from it because it's really hard, hard to find like the perfect stretchy material to make sure it's out of and this was basically free so that was great um yeah so let's start i don't know uh oh i am uh currently in the netherlands uh i am dutch maybe you can hear it from my accent um i don't know if i still have an accent uh my boyfriend is american so I speak English a lot, uh, actually all the time, um, but we live together in the Netherlands and um, yeah, that's a little bit about me. Um, so let's uh, start. I have no idea if this episode is ever going to see the internet, but I'm, I don't know. I just thought it's so nice and there's so much light today. so. If I'm gonna do it, uh, let's do it today. <laughs> That's kind of what. I, yeah. Um, so let's start. What am I wearing? Huh? Just like all of the other podcasters do. Um, I'm wearing a vest. This is the Raye vest by Clar Clarice Barcelos. Barcelos. Uh, she is, I think, Brazilian. Anyway, I did a test knit for her. Uh, I saw this and I thought it was really nice. Uh, she's a really small designer, so if you like it, it's great if you support her. Um, I don't know if anyone is going to see this, so it feels really weird to say that, but uh, okay. She is like a really small upcoming designer. I think she's only 18 years old. And I really like this design. I really like the stripes. So it's like two uh, three small ones and then a bigger one it's just really nice and i wear this a lot i wear this to work i wear this 
just to hang out. It's really nice. Uh, oh yeah, and I knitted it with um, Hobby Safira or something. I think it's not uh, for sale anymore. It's a really nice yarn. It's like it's kind of hard or something. It's not super soft, but it's really nice and sturdy, and it just stays really nice because I think it's one of those blown um, blown wools. Uh, there's also a creek in it. Uh, yeah, I've actually okay. I'm I have no order here. I don't know. Uh, this is my first time, so I'm sorry. Uh, I'm actually for how long have I've been knitting? <laughs> um, I have been knitting since I was seven or something. I learned like uh, just like knit stitch and purl stitch um, from my mom, but I only like knitted some scarves and then I got back to it and I knitted some more scarves. <laughs> And then I think a year ago or something, I was like, I can do more. Uh, let's just do more. <laughs> uh, so I started knitting a lot. And so I'm still learning, I guess. Although I feel like all the techniques I can really wrap my head around pretty quickly. I, it took me a while to understand the difference between yarns. Also to stop using acrylic because I, really prefer not to have like plastic in my clothes uh yeah so if i show you things a lot of them have some acrylic in it but i'm really trying to get my stash away for yeah all the acrylic that i have um and uh all the yarn that i buy now is 100 percent natural so either cotton or wool like merino or mohair or whatever um so that's a little bit about me about my knitting and what what i can do i would say i'm kind of intermediate but yeah so for techniques i understand what i'm doing but uh yarn weight for example i'm like looking at a pattern and then i don't really want to use the uh well i don't necessarily want to use the recommended yarn but i'm looking for something that looks like it and if the if the grams and the meters are the same then it's probably the same yarn but then some yarn is just really heavy so i don't understand everything let's <laughs> just say give it to that i'm still learning and uh yeah anyway so that's what i'm wearing <laughs> now let's talk about my finished objects um which is kind of weird because uh obviously i've never done a knitting podcast before so what do you show in your first episode uh so i decided to just do my favorite finished objects from 2021 since we're still in january right now um so i'm gonna start with the very first thing i finished actually and this was a self draft so uh i saw all these uh, YouTube videos of people recreating the Hope Macaulay uh, type of cardigans and I was just obsessed with them so I just watched all these YouTube videos and I actually watched this uh, how to crochet uh, the Hope Macaulay type of cardigan or something this one video does just like millions of views just everybody love that video i guess or something i don't know doesn't matter um so i tried to do that but i i found out crocheting it didn't really work i got this like super heavy uh fabric so i uh, ripped everything out when i already finished it and then i just knitted it based on the measurements i had um so here it is this is my I, uh yeah chunky color block Hope Macaulay inspired it's by far not as cool as Macaulay stuff but um, I wear this so much so I've knitted this um, with a hobby yarn and 100% acrylic yarn I think it's called like Amigo Giga or something the, the thickest one uh, using 10 
millimeter needles and yeah i just kind of just went as i went <laughs> so i just started from the bottom oh this is nice <laughs> um i started at the bottom and i made it up and for the front two things i uh i like decreased along here um to get a nice shoulder line uh i don't think i decreased here no i didn't there's a lot of hairs on there it's always always the case um and it's sewn together with a mattress stitch um, and then I picked up, so after sewing everything together, I picked up the sleeves and I did some decreases there too to make it, I don't know, a little less uh, poofy. And then at the end, I did the button band and I had this really nice big, uh, yeah, wooden like, they're not wooden, but they look like wooden. Uh, buttons, so I put those on and I really liked it. I was very really, really proud of myself <laughs> I Know a lot more now than I did then uh, Which is fine. I like it. It's uh, I wear it a lot. It's just like just there's stuff like this everywhere But I guess that's what you get when you uh, Yeah, I don't know Maybe it's the chunky yarn or it's the acrylic yarn. I don't know, because other acrylic stuff doesn't have it. So I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the chunkiness. Um, I'm not doing this in chronological order, but that's okay. I'll oh, I'll do acrylic and then go to nicer stuff. <laughs> that's a nice thing to do. So this other thing I knitted, uh, which I'm, I really really love this. It's a t-shirt. It's a raglan t-shirt, so it's a two-stitch raglan, and um, it's knitted using the Bellish app. Now, the Bellish app is going away, like tomorrow or something. They, uh, I believe, I heard some YouTubers talking about they were discontinued because uh, they didn't get their um, money, like they didn't get enough sponsors or something and they wanted to keep it free. It was, or is now still, but it was. Um, oh, I feel like I'm rambling so much, I hope... <laughs> yeah, I don't even know who's gonna see this, so... Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, but... Valish was a free app where you can kind of just put together like your size and everything you want and then you uh, uh, choose like I want a sweater or I want a hat or I want socks and you want it like cropped or long length or boxy or raglan well you could choose everything so I just did a really simple t-shirt actually uh, Tiffany from Typical Bliss I watch her videos a lot I really like it um, she made this t-shirt in red and I loved it so I thought I would do the same but I used this acrylic yarn and it's, it is a really soft and nice acrylic yarn it doesn't peel as much as my chunky cardigan that I just showed uh, so it holds up really well but just if I wear acrylic I smell bad <laughs> that's all it is I just start like I never really smell bad for myself <laughs> But, um, yeah, if I wear uh, acrylic around my armpits, it just doesn't smell nice. So that's the, that's the truth. Um, so that's, that's a little bit of a shame because I really like this. So I wish I would have made this in a nicer material. Maybe like a cotton wool blend or something to make it wearable during summer. But I think I'll definitely make something like this again. Um, I actually wrote down the whole pattern like on notes because it's an app the Bellish app yeah the Bellish app is an app <laughs> um, I uh, wrote down uh, in my little book I just 
like noted everything down because screenshot would would have been like 60 screenshots so i just wrote it down instead for my size so i think i made a medium um yeah which would have been too small but i okay this is a whole topic <laughs> i have a i have a strong opinion about this but um my chest circumference and i know that another uh podcaster caroline from caroline's knits she talked about this be uh, before too but um i have like a larger bust circumference and often when uh, patterns say oh yeah measure your bust circumference add up 15 centimeters and then knit that size is giant and I have an example of that. <laughs> I'll just show the example. I'll, I'll show you. Uh, but let me finish my story first. Oh, this is all over the place. I hope, yeah, I don't even know if anyone is gonna, ever gonna see this, so I guess it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, so I kind of learned that I should just make smaller uh, patterns like I I need to make um, I shouldn't look for that like the perfect measurement that the pattern states I should just go for what I think is good like if I buy clothes at the store like sweaters I usually go for a medium or a large um, and all the knitting patterns I'm basically a double XL, which there's nothing wrong with being a double XL at, at all. I don't want to say that, no. But for me, I just, this is, this is the, here. <laughs> this is too big for me. <laughs> this is, I don't like the fit of, uh, a sweater if I use my bust circumference and then add on a certain amount of centimeters. I just need to have like zero ease and then for the rest it's all good. Like my waist is smaller, up here it's smaller, my just my frame everything like I know I'm pretty like curvy <laughs> uh, but um, Yeah, I just don't want to, uh, how do I explain this? Like, I think designers like, uh, a lot of designers are very petite, like petite knit. <laughs> and it looks really nice on her to have like a super oversized sweater. It looks really nice, um, but it doesn't look nice on me. I just need to have it tied around my bust and then it looks nice for the rest. And that's what I know because that's what I buy if I would buy something at the store. Okay, that was my whole story about that. I will stop now. So, next one. <laughs> I already grabbed it. This is uh, a test knit. Um, actually, not my first test knit. It's going in a really bad order of things, but that's okay. Um, this is a test knit for Joanna Colibri. Colibri, Colibri by Joanna. I'm guessing Colibri is not an English word. It is a Dutch word, but it's also a German word. But she is, she is German. So I'm guessing it's Colibri by Joanna. Yeah. Uh, and it's the Edgar sweater. So I love this sweater. Don't get me wrong. I. I really, really like this sweater. It has like really nice uh, raglan. It uses a lot of um, knit, knit through the back loop, so twisted rib. Um, and it has like on the side, it's hard to show all of this. On the side it has uh, this increasing I don't know if you can see this. Maybe I'll try to do like one of those little videos where, where I show it more. Maybe you can see it like this. 
like it increases it's like a like a triangle from the armpit in the twisted rib it's just really nice i just hoped it was just the perfect sweater to wear to work and now it's just the perfect sweater to just like <laughs> put myself in a tent with <laughs> i feel like it's just huge on me but it, it's so nice and i i knitted this um using uh, a color mart yarn uh which was a, a cashmere merino blend i think super nice i bought it in this tan color and i thought it was gonna be uh kind of like beigey but then it was like orange and i thought oh, i don't wear orange at all orange is our national color here uh, so it's like when we have national holidays and stuff Everybody's dressed in orange, so I can't look at orange in any other way than uh, Yeah, like those kind of holidays. It's just weird to wear orange for me But then I thought What if I combine it with like rust? And then you get this <laughs> so that's super nice. So I got the um, drops brushed alpaca uh, in the color of rust I believe um, and I put it together and it's just so nice it's like marled uh, I don't know it's just and it's super nice and soft I actually didn't block this yet um, but I will really soon um, I just really wanted to wear them. I was going on a holiday and I just finished it, so I just took it with me. Um, yeah, I, I really like it. I've been wearing it a lot and I don't think I would wear it to the office uh, because it's so big. Uh, I do wear it working from home because if you just see this, then it's fine. Um, I must say that the brushed alpaca is peeling a lot I'm just like pulling off the little yeah pills now which is a shame because the cashmere is so nice um but yeah so that's uh, the Edgar sweater by Colibri by Joanne um well and next up oh another test knit for Colibri by Joanna um, and this is the Claude cardigan. Claude, Cloud, Claude, like the name. She she does all these like names for her patterns. So that was Edgar. This is Claude. I believe she also has a Claude uh, sweater. But this is the Claude cardigan, and this is just so nice. I like every time I wear this, people are like. Oh, I love your, <laughs> I love your cardigan, and I understand because who doesn't love? We are knitters, marshmallow. <laughs> um, I actually blocked this. Uh, I blocked this sweater. Um, yeah. I don't know. I wanted to see how the garter stitch would do the blocking, and I wanted to give it a wash. So I also was wearing this one on my holiday. And for the neck, it's this, uh, I held together some merino and alpaca, no, not alpaca, sorry, uh, mohair from Color Mart. Which if you don't know Color Mart, so the orange from the other sweater was also from Color Mart. Um, if you don't know Color Mart, it's super cheap yarn. They like stock up all this. Um, yeah, it's, it's just super nice. Uh, but only buy something if you need it because otherwise you just buy all this all the things like I kind of did nah, not too much I'm, I'm okay with doing that kind of stuff anyway I really like it it's beautiful I mean yeah so Joanna actually made it in the yarnicorn from We Are Knitters which I think you would know and this is uh so the petite wool, the petite wool in marshmallow is this one. And I know that a lot of knitters, like a lot of podcasters or I don't know, feel like a lot of people really like um, 
the petite wool, but I actually, it's just peeling so much. And I know that uh, Inga from Knitting Traditions was talking about it too. I feel so weird to talk about these people because I've been watching all those things by myself. And now I'm like saying it out loud as if I know them. I don't know them. I just watch their videos. <laughs> um, anyway. Uh, she was talking about the petite wool as well. Um, and she said that she didn't really like it either because of the pilling. Um, but she also said, yeah, it's kind of, if it's really soft, it's kind of pilling more. Uh, yeah, which is a shame because it's super expensive. I mean, I can't afford to make all my clothes, all my knitwear in We Are Knitters wool. But this color was worth it for sure. So that's really nice. All right, on the pile of things I talked about. Um, then I have, ooh, this was a stash bu buster for me. Some of the acrylic yarn that I got rid of. I really like this one. And this, so this is acrylic yarn, but it's really soft. This one, and it holds up really nicely. This is my Let It Go sweater. This is a pattern by, look <laughs> how nice. <laughs> I'm just hiding behind my sweaters. Um, this is a pattern by Knit Stitch Repeat. I follow her. I think her her knitwear designer name is just her name. It's just Becca Griffs or something. She's a designer from the UK and she's just super nice. If you ever want to test knit something, you should test knit for her. She takes really good care of you. It's amazing. She's just so friendly. Um, so this was my first time testing for her and she it was inspired by Elsa so it was the let it go sweater from Frozen um, and it kind of reminded me of like mermaids so what I did was I started with like blues and then went up to like purples I don't know it kind of felt like I was in the sea or something I don't know uh, that was my inspiration and I feel like it turned out so nicely the colors together I used so this is another acrylic yarn it's we love yarn by hobby just the like cheapest sport weight uh, acrylic yarn from their website and it has I think like the yeah I, I don't know the color codes of them from my mind but it's like the lilac light blue aqua uh, like dusty pink and then there's this um, kind of like blush white like it looks like it's white but it's actually like this blush a little bit pink but yeah I really love this one um, yeah there, yeah just good things to say about this also the yarn is being like holding up pretty well oh and I put sparkle in Look, some glitter. I don't know if you can see it. I feel like that never picks up on camera. I, I took some pictures and put them on my Instagram too. And you can't see that there's glitter in it. <laughs> so, oh well. Um, another compliment getter. I feel like if you if you were wearing like the really pastel-y colors, uh, people are just noticing your knits a lot more and they're like, oh, did you knit that? Which is so nice. Um, yeah, I have two more that I wanted to show you. I feel like, yeah, I have no like chronological order or when I really finished all of these, but it's like in the, the, the second half of last year. Mm, and I did knit other stuff too, but yeah, and maybe I'll show them later. I don't know. <laughs> so next two are also test knits. So here I have this hat, which is this really nice, like, uh, yeah, kind of.
doing a honeycomb uh, pattern in it, which is just like, it looks like it's cables. It is, it is cables, but you don't need a cable needle. You just knit um, like the in front or of or behind your work, like the next stitch. Th this, I, I can explain this better. <laughs> so you either knit, um, knit the second stitch through the back loop or you knit the second stitch like normally to make it go in front of each other and then it like goes like like what this is um yeah and i really like it i blocked it and now it's kind of too big <laughs> so this is my hat it has this like huge floppy oh it's the Stormy Sea Hat by, I think it's GK Knits. I think you can also wear it like this. And the pattern was just one color, but I thought I would just use some yarn for my stash. And I thought that all of these were wool. The reason I don't know is because it was all wool from um, my mom's grandmother which my mom kept and then handed on to me because I knit <laughs> uh, so really old yarns uh, which has this really nice uh, yeah this is really nice feeling of having this um, yarn that my mom's grandma like wrapped up together um, yeah that's really nice so yeah that's what kind of what i use but i feel like this one is not wool but these two might be this one for sure is this one i don't know i feel like this one is acrylic but it doesn't matter it's a really nice hat i wear it a lot um yeah it's nice and then finally mm, another test knit and this i'm so proud of this one but there's something, um, I think I did something wrong, but okay. So this is another fest. Uh, oh, it doesn't, doesn't show really well now, but it's this really nice cabling. This is the Keaton Fest by Sari Nordland. Uh, and I tested this for her which was awesome that I could test it for her. I, when I got that email that I could test it, I was like telling my boyfriend like, oh my God, <laughs> sorry, Nordland, let me test it for her. Um, <laughs> it's like, what are you talking about? And he's like, yeah, she's like a really famous knitwear designer. And yeah, he was all happy for me, but uh, yeah, uh, really funny. But the only thing is I cast it on too few stitches for the neckline. It's like a, supposed to be a deep v-neck and I want it to be a little higher because I don't want it to go like really low. I don't know. Um, so I cast it on too few stitches and then I did like a normal bind off, just like slip stitch. Yeah, pass, pass your stitch over your stitch, just a normal bind off. And it's not stretchy at all. And then for the uh, bottom and the arms, I did do a stretchy bind up and that's a lot better. So I feel like maybe I would have to go back to just do a different bind off. I also don't want to like have to do the whole neckline again. But maybe it's not even that bad, but yeah, it's just, it sits up a little too high. It should go a little lower. It like also pulls up the front. But I also kind of really like it. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, and <laughs> one other thing is that like this, this vest, like just is perfect on my shoulders. It's like nice boxy kind of silhouette, but it goes like that, you know, in the pattern. This one, uh, it's just like straight down basically. So when you wear it, it goes like until here, especially because it has the uh, cable, so it's super stretchy. So it like falls down. 
So when I work from home, I see myself on my camera, I'm like, oh, I'm just super broad. <laughs> I, like, I don't know, it just stands there. And I'm like, oh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna wear this like out to work that much. But I wanted a cabled vest and I got a cabled vest and it's gray, which I don't know if you've noticed, but I like color. I felt like I needed something neutral. <laughs> so here's my neutral vest. Yeah. Okay, that's it for the finished objects. Let's go to my works in progress. Okay, um, I actually want to show you one other thing. A finished object, but then for sewing. Uh, just one thing, I don't know if you like sewing too. But uh, I made this sweater for my boyfriend and I'm so proud of it. So I just want to show it. It has this like inset quarter zip, which works. I'm, I'm just so proud of this one. <laughs> and it has these like fluffy white sleeves, bare sleeves, and uh, yeah, I was inspired, well, I went to the US with my boyfriend over Christmas, and he saw all these like Patagonia and the North Face uh, sweaters, and he was like, oh, those are nice, I want to buy them, and I was like, I can make those for you. <laughs> so what we did instead is when we went to Joanne's, and we bought this uh, fleece fabric, which I think is awesome. My boyfriend picked it out. And I just uh, bought this uh, furry yarn here in the Netherlands on the market. Um, and I made this really nice sweater. Yeah, I'm just really proud of it. So I wanted to show you that before we move on to my works in progress. So actually I kind of just finished a lot up before uh, Christmas. So before going to my boyfriend's family in the US. Um, so I came home and I had like almost nothing on my needles. I felt all weird. So I just cast on a bunch of stuff and I'm just in this chaotic, chaotic um, mode right now. I'm just, I don't know, I'm all over the place with my whips and I just want to uh, want to make this sweater for my boyfriend for his uh, birthday which is in the middle of February and right now it's almost February so I don't think I'm not gonna finish that on time I don't think but I'll show you what I'm making so this is oh a self-draft, kind of? Uh, well, it is. Um, it's my uh, like Nordic-inspired sweater. It's knitted with Drops Alaska, which is a really nice yarn. I mean, it, yeah, it doesn't look super nice online or something. I don't know if that makes any sense, but, um, it's just super, wow, the lighting is doing really weird things, but I hope you can, like, it's like, um, I'm knitting this in two, uh, 5.5 millimeter needles, and the yarn is just super, yeah, it's just so, like, wooly. It's, yeah, it's probably a little scratchy, like, now, but I feel like it's just super sturdy and good yarn. So it drops Alaska. And um, yeah, he, he wanted this Nordic kind of sweater. So I just made it made up a pattern, like in spreadsheets. I just like colored a few things and then did like four repeat and then just like repeated those and look what saw what it looked like. And then just like doing color work <laughs> in a sweater. And I really like it. I even really like it on the how it shows in the camera. So my plan is to do like a bunch of white. So this is the bottom. I'm knitting it bottom up. Um, this is the bottom and then 
Uh, around here I have this new utter pattern and then I'm going to do stripes here. And then the sleeves, I'm not, I'm not sure yet. But yeah, maybe if I would just work only on this and like put all my time towards this and like knit during my meetings on this and everything, I would finish it. But it would be kind of stressful and my boyfriend doesn't really want me to do that for him. Yeah, it's not a surprise. He knows I'm working on it. He really likes it. I really like it too. Yeah, especially talking about it now again. I feel like, oh yeah, I want to keep working on it. Even though I've been doing other stuff uh, in the meantime. Um, so I told you already that uh, like showing white, I feel like it just like blows up the lighting or something. Um, well, I told you before uh, about how I want to like just do some stash busting on my acrylic yarn. So what I'm going to do or what I'm doing is I'm making a blanket. <laughs> it's um, so I ordered these one and a half meter long. Uh, cables with uh, 12 millimeter needles and I just hold my uh, acrylic yarn triple or sometimes four times four strands together and what I'm doing is I just started with a little bit of garter and then I knit and I do like a little pearl bump so that the back side also kind of looks neat so they can both be the front because I always feel like with blankets, you want both sides to be nice. So that's why I do the little pearl bump when I uh, switch yarns. And I'm doing some double knitting at the edges. So I think it looks really nice. And I, yeah, I'm just using all my different colors that I have. So also all these old yarns from my mom's grandma, which is really nice. Um, so yeah, I've been working on that for a little bit. Then I was like tired of that this week. I'm just all over the place. Um, so what I did was I'll just cast something new on. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is my other project. This is using a pattern. So this is the novice sweater by Petite Knit. I'm using that pattern and actually mm, hold on. I have this sewing magazine called uh, La Maison Victor. It's French the name but it's in Dutch and they had the novice sweater in there uh in dutch the the, uh, the pattern so super nice i just thought okay <laughs> i'll cast that one on uh because i had this super nice yarn um all over the place i'm sorry i had this super nice yarn that Cotton Merino Classic. I don't know if it was, if this was mirrored. Well, Cotton Merino Classic. I bought it on, on a Hobby. And it's this really nice, it's just the softest yarn I felt. And it's cotton, 50% and 50% Merino. And it, I have it in this like really nice, light green sagey kind of color can you tell i like that color <laughs> i do <laughs> uh and i had this lilac and then i had black what well, was actually um i think uh like marine navy blue sorry marine <laughs> marine is like i always say it in dutch um navy blue and um this blue so I just thought I would just stripe and just make stripes. And yeah, I I wasn't sure if I was going to like it. And I'm still not sure if I'm going to like it. But I made this in like 
two days and I feel like I'm just I'm, I'm working full time so I feel like that's a lot of meeting uh, although I shouldn't apologize for how fast or slow or whatever I'm knitting um, so because that doesn't matter at all um, yeah but uh, yeah super nice kind of reminds me of you know that licorice that like uh, white and then the black li licorice and then uh, brown or pink or you know kind of reminds me of that <laughs> I don't know if I like that or not but I'm just gonna uh, continue knitting on this. I, yeah, if I see it now on the screen, it looks pretty nice. So, yeah. I hope I'll finish this soon because I feel like I just want to wear this this yarn. I actually, I bought this yarn, and that's like what I told said at the beginning that I don't really understand yarn that well yet, but I'm starting to understand it better. I bought it for the maya cardigan which is this beautiful beautiful color work cardigan uh but i think they use like let lopi or something the 100 percent wool icelandic yarn um and i bought this together with the other colors that i that i have in this sweater i didn't buy enough and i like maybe it can be done but I feel like this, it's not like, it's, I think the other yarn is thinner, so like heavier per, yeah. Um, this is like softer, thicker, uh, lighter. Yeah, so that, that shows that I don't really, I didn't really understand uh, how that works. I, I don't think this yarn would work for that pattern. Um, so once I realized that I had to think of something else, I was also thinking of making the Colette tea. I'm just going to tell you all the stuff that I like <laughs> now. I don't know. Uh, the Colette tea by Witre design, which is this really nice. It kind of looks like that Raglan one that I made from Balish that I showed you. Um, but it's like a little more delicate around here like it's it does have raglan I think but it goes like a little bit wider first uh, and I really like that one and I just think this fabric this yarn would be make it's beautiful summery fabric so for a t-shirt it would be really nice but I think I wouldn't have enough for of one color and then I want to do the Colette tea in one color so yeah I was just gonna stripe, stripe it. Um, I actually kind of used this shirt that I have as inspiration for this. Maybe I'll show you a picture of that. I don't know if that is interesting at all. Um, and then, yeah, I'm kind of like hesitant what to show you because I've been all over the place, but I'll show you these socks because I mean, these are like the first socks I've ever casted on. I've never finished a pair of socks, but I've been working on several pairs. So that shows my chaoticness, but I think it's okay to be a little chaotic. When you're chaotic, you're creative, right? So when I'm doing creative things, I'm chaotic. That's okay. Um, these are my little ankle. I don't know why it keeps getting it's like this really nice yarn just like I want to say self striping but is this self striping because it kind of fades let me know in the comments <laughs> if this is self striping because I would like to know what you call self striping I feel like self striping is like more um, these changes like okay now the white is done and we're going to red you know and this is like a slow fade from one color to the next let me know very important questions here um so yeah i, I this is my my first sock ever i've been using the basic sock pattern or something by kirsten Lehrer. she has this really really comprehensible for ever if you've never knitted socks before 
which I haven't either because I've never finished them. <laughs> um, she has this really nice comprehensible uh, pattern. And the only thing I'm, I'm thinking about is, isn't it like way too big, like way too wide? Because it's, it's, uh, it's a free pattern, so I can talk about it. It's two and a half millimeter needles and you cast on 40, no, 64 stitches. Which I think, because I heard more uh, podcasters talking about socks before, which I think is like the normal thing to do. So maybe I'm just a really loose knitter. Or this is normal that it's... It just looks so big, you know? Although, for socks, I usually just throw my socks in the dryer and then they shrink. And they look like little baby socks and I just put them on and they stretch out again. Um, <laughs> so maybe I'm j I just think socks should be smaller. But this is like an actual normal size sock. I don't know. Yeah, so showing it this on the podcast, which I still don't know if I'm going to put this online or not. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, that will hopefully motivate me to finish these, to like cast on a second one after finishing this one and have a pair of socks. Because now people can keep me accountable. So, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, do I want to show the last one? I have this. So, I'm also kind of. I've shown you the the sweater I've been I've been making for my boyfriend, which is kind of my own. What well, it is completely my own design. Um, and I'm kind of thinking of getting more into knitwear design because I have so many ideas in my head. I just. Like, I'm like, oh, you can make like a raglan like that and then put like a little cute little, like, not like a cable, but something else in the, in the raglan stitches or, I don't know, I just keep thinking about knitwear designing, like thinking new ideas or new colors or like poofy things. Um, yeah, so I don't know if I should like just show it or like. Do you keep stuff a secret or something? I don't know. I'm just gonna show it. But it's my idea. <laughs> it's not completely my idea. I'm obviously inspired by other people. I think everybody is, you know? I, but I'm not necessarily one person. Okay, I'll just show you. I had this idea of making a sweater, not uh, top down or bottom up, but sideways. And this is probably like a old thing of people have done before, but I just thought, you know, you could just knit a sleeve and then like get cast on more stitches for here and then like, you know, so that's what I'm doing and I'm making, I don't know if this shows really well because my needles are really short, but I'm making this cute sweater which has these like super poofy sleeves using leftover yarn because I'm stash, stash busting um, and I'm like I just started the body so I cast it on these stitches here I don't know if this shows at all anyway um, this is my one of my whips this is like in my mind you know uh, and I I really like it it's gonna be called the poof sweater. Also that I already know. <laughs> Cause look at these sleeves, aren't they just like poof? Poof. <laughs> I don't know, I, I don't know. I'm just, yeah, I'm a little bit, yeah, my jokes aren't that funny, but that's okay. Um, so what do you think? You like it? Would you test it? Because I would be looking for test knitters at some point. So I'm writing it down and I've wanted to make this one based on your own measurements. So no sizes, but just like how long do you want it? How wide do you want your sleeves? How like how tight do you want to have it fit around your chest? Your choice. Because I told you that I uh, 
struggle with that myself sometimes. And like how long do you want it and stuff. So I'll just like write down what I did, my measurements and then like. Um, so you always have like an idea of what to do. Um, so yeah, that's the, that's the poof sweater. So that's, yeah. Another thing, um, then for my knitting plans, uh, I wanted to talk about that for a little bit. Um, I bought this really nice yarn and I'm definitely trying to buy less yarn and just use what I have for sure. But I have been wanting to make a uh, camisole number five, which I'm pretty sure everybody knows about, but it's from uh, my favorite things knitwear. And I love shirts that go like this, you know, like that uh, don't have fabric here, but that go like like that. So your shoulders are nice and broad. I don't know. I like that. Uh, and I saw it and I just thought it was so beautiful and I couldn't find the right yarn and I was looking for cotton yarn to make it with. Um, but it was way too heavy for a shirt like that, for a top like that. So then, I found this. Holst Yarn Coast in the color Olive, which is a little more gray than I expected it to be, but it's definitely like greenish gray, you know, like sage, like the color I like. I was hesitant to take this one or to take the green one. Like they also have a light green one. Um, yeah, so I bought this one for camisole number five and I'm so excited about it, but I, I mean, it was uh, full, <laughs> my phone was full, so I guess I've been talking too much. Uh, also, I noticed, I just watched a little bit and my sound is really weird, so I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to put this online at all. I don't, I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, I'm excited to make camisole number five. That's what I wanted to say. So that's kind of my future plan. Um, another thing that has been on my mind is another design that I've been thinking about. And uh, I've been wanting to make the mod tee by Petite Knit, um, which is like a, a shirt but I want to make it long sleeved and I saw this one girl on Instagram she made it with like a few stripes and it looks so nice but I think like a cotton or linen blend, wool blend, something would be really nice for that to make it a little more summery um, so yeah, that's kind of my knitting plans um, it feels really weird to be like, oh yeah, goodbye. <laughs> because I have no idea if I'm going to ever put this online. Um, yeah, if I did, then thank you for watching. Um, yeah, I would like to know if you like this. I am sorry about the sound. I, I, I have no idea why that is. But I'm using my phone, so maybe that's why. Um, yeah, let me know if you like this. It would be nice if you like like it, I guess, to make me be more available. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, to stand out in the algorithm or something. Um, and yeah, just. Uh, yeah, if you wanna uh, if you wanna know about my testing opportunities, then follow me on Instagram. That's probably where where I'll post it. Feels weird to like finally really start this. All these ideas that I have in my mind and like put it out there, but that's the only way, you know. Uh, just have so many so many ideas in my head for sewing too. Yeah. Oh, also let me know if you like sewing. I don't know. Maybe you do. Uh, I showed you a little bit, like the shirt and uh, 
the sweater so let me know if you like that and yeah that's it uh see you next time if there will be one i don't know uh let me know what you think all right have a wonderful day and um yeah i look forward to talking to people about knitting so please like contact me somewhere because i would love that all right bye <laughs>